Welcome back to the JM Baseball channel for another RBI draft. This one's brought to you by Shady Rays, and today we're doing the National League Central. We've only got two divisions left. This is one of them. It's myself, Dalton Feely, and Ryan Cohen. We're going to draft nine players to make out a lineup of only NL Central teamed players, and we have to name a specific year of that player's career. However many RBIs they had in that year, that's the number we add to our lineup. Most RBIs at the end wins the game. You've been watching along for a while now. You know these rules, but if it's your first time, welcome. I hope you enjoy the video. Let's see how we did. What are we doing about the pick? Is it is it me? It's yours. It's weird being first. And for those who didn't watch last week, there is a new rule with the RBI drafts, which we have implemented, which came into play last week as well. You must select at least one player from every team in the division, which means at the end of the draft, I will have a Cub, a Brewer, a Cardinal, a Pirate, and a Red, at least one of them in my lineup. And... With the first pick in the draft, I have to think about it. Oh, we should do like a, I should probably do a pool holes thing, right? Feels Makes like sense. A good idea. Only thing is first base. Yeah, I could take two. I'm sure there are some crazy years. I probably won't get it right. Um, let's let us go. I believe he won in 05 or 04. Let's go Albert Pools 2004. 2004, Albert Pools had 123 RBIs. And we're off. Boys. Fantastic. I don't That's think that he can mess up. Like his fifth best. Damn. But, <laughs> but like, but yeah. yeah. What was so the peak? He, he had 137, he had wow. 135, 130, 127, 124. You can't really go wrong. Okay. The notable thing there is 04 was his first year at first base. Oh. We could have, if you had gone beforehand, he would have either been an outfielder or a third baseman. I will tell take Sammy Sosa. Yeah. I think I'm going to go with 01 only because I know that he played in September and I think he had like injuries in other years and I know he played in September because he ran out with a little flag after 9-11. Do you remember? And 01's like the magic year for everybody. Yeah, I'll go with 01. Not for Sammy some. Sosa. 2001, Sammy Sosa had the most RBIs of any player in the division in the 2000s. Okay. He had 160. <laughs> That's an immediate I'm 40 the RBI lead. I'm loving the start. Damn. That is a good start. Well, guys, thanks for watching. If you like to <laughs> like and subscribe. Mark McGuire. He was a cardinal. Yeah. Yeah. Fun part about my brain knowledge is that it doesn't work that way. I have no idea when he was a cardinal. I might just piggyback off the 01 like you did. Because I know a lot of people had good years. I could go 2000. I'm going to go 2001 Mark McGuire. And I I'm hoping. He, I, think I think he's that's, safe. I, I think it's a bad pick. I think he's safe. 2001. I mean, like, he didn't play. Is Mark McGuire's last season. Yeah. He did play. He yeah. did play. He played 97 games. Oh, no. <laughs> and he had 64 no. RBI. I, so I knew that the last season was bad. I thought it was 2000. I thought it was I thought he was going to be safe. I'm down 100, basically. <laughs> on my you, first pick. He needs you are down a hundred. I'm going kooky answers. Uh, I'll take Yelich 2018. Just go. That's, That's not bad. That was gonna be you my want an one. MVP. Kooky. <laughs> I'm, I'm going kooky. Kooky picks kooky. an Give MVP. Me the MVP. You know what? <laughs> going kooky. <laughs> in 2018, that is Christian Yelich's first year in Milwaukee. His MVP season. He had 110 RBI. Nice. It was nice. 19 Very more good. or less? 19 was less. Good. Nice. So you are. You're beating Ryan nice. now. Nice. Uh, uh, 19. 19. Nice. But I also feel so good after your Mark McGuire. I'm just going to throw a guy that hit so <laughs> yes. many homers. And we're going to say, I don't know if he's in the NL Central in 2008, but we're going to say 2008, Adam Dunn. <gasps> Whoa, fun. I, I think like he's that. in the outfield a little bit, too. I think he's too. in that, though. I believe he might be he's in, in the DC. outfield. No. <gasps> no. Yeah. No. Yes. He got traded. No. Yes. Let's go. <laughs> From the Reds. No. I love when Lucas does that. The Diamondbacks. No. Don't get too excited. He hit 32 homers before the trade. Come on. And 74 RBI. You could have been so much worse from Was that. he an outfielder, too? He was an outfielder. All right. Chris Bryant, 2016. Oh, the Cubs. Yeah. The Cubs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So sense. 2016, Chris Bryant had 102 RBI. Mm, okay. That's pretty good. I thought that would be more. Is that as high? Let's take a look. Yep, that's his, the only time he's broken 100. Really? Uh, give me Ryan Braun in 2011. Okay. Sure. Just <laughs> interesting that you pick steroid guys. I would never. Right. They're usually better <laughs> at hitting the ball. I have Sammy Sosa. It's so sad. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan Braun in 2011 had 111 RBIs. Wahoo! That is his third oh. most in his career. What? I'm between 2018 and 2019 on Javier Baez. Uh, one of them, mm. he's second in the MVP. And I forget what year that is. So I'm going to think for a second. Player. 
It's he was a shortstop, too, which is going to be nice. We're drafting um, RBIs. I know the year. So, oh, I can think about this. I think Belly and Yelly were back-to-back -back in 18, and I think Yelich was second place in 19. Is that right? Yeah. So if Yelich was second in 19, that would mean that Baez was second in 18. We're going to pretend that logic is correct. I think. I'm going to say 20. It might be wrong. 2018 Javier Baez. That's right. 2018 Javier Baez had 111 Sweet. RBIs. Yeah. As a shortstop or second? The question for you is which you'd rather play him at. He played 104 at second, so he was predominantly second base, but he still played 65 at short, so he's eligible at either. I would put him at short. Am I allowed to switch later? Um, yeah, right. You yeah. are allowed to switch later. I I'll, will have say I'll have him at short. He is the number one at either of those positions. Okay. In 2013, a Pittsburgh Pirates won MVP, though he should not have. <laughs> yeah, Give me Andrew McCutcheon, please. He was better than Goldschmidt. 2013. Yeah, he was better than him. It's enough Ed Walton. I don't think he's like a huge RBI. I don't guy. care. I'm going with my board. He's well, funny enough, he only had 84. He's the MVP at 84 RBI. MVP RBIs? They don't matter. Year before, they he had matter. 96. 2015, he had 96. How, how, how does someone... He stole how? a lot of bases. He stole a lot of Guys, bases. the Pirates made it to the playoffs and he we played a, a game. He was a leadoff hitter. Today's wonderful draft video is brought to you by Shady Ray. Some of the best product out there in terms of sunglasses for summertime. They're an independent company offering a world-class product rated five stars by over 300,000 people. They're the perfect choice for outdoor adventures. They have durable frames and crystal clear optics. And if your shades ever go missing or take an unexpected hit, they have the best warranty policy in the game. The most insane protection. They're backed by lost or broken replacements. So you can get yourself another pair of Shady Rays right off the bat. So use promo code BASEBALL when you check out their website for 50% off two or more pairs of premium polarized sunglasses. And that offer applies to the custom Jimmy and Jake collab shades. So go get yours now. Promo code BASEBALL for 50% off two or more pairs. It's a hell of a deal. All right. It's enough of you. Give me Prince Fielder 2009. Oh. There we go. He played four straight oh. years, basically. Drop it, baby. Give me yes. one. Yes. 2009 is Prince Fielder's career nice. high. Nice. Don't think, apparently. And Just throw years and names the together. second most RBIs by anybody in the division. Wow. Fantastic. He had 141. Whoa. So he's fully back in now, so stop. No, I had a bad number. 80-something. Got a guy. Okay. Played on a bunch of different uh, NL Central teams. Sure. His name is Aramis Ramirez. Whoa, why are you touching my mic? Hey, Ram. Aramis Ramirez, the year here is tricky. You could say any year. Right. Qualify, so yeah, I know. I don't know if he had like an injury. I think he only played there. Yeah. He was a brewer. He was a cub. He was a pirate. Oh, shit. There's something I probably should have mentioned. Okay, for mention you guys it. Before this. The oh. Astros were in right. the I've been thinking Central. about that. Uh, yeah. Yeah, some, I knew somebody was going to forget. You're spoiling. Until 2012, with including our, 2012. With our new rule, do we include them? I don't uh, think so. I don't think that they, they, you need to have one of them, but if you take a player, that's allowed. Yeah. Okay. I don't think yeah. they count towards the minimum, Okay. but you are allowed to take players from that division. Can you sub them? I mean, it doesn't matter to me. Can you sub them in and out? For example, like if you take four teams and the Astros, no. is that a qualifier? I would say no. They don't Astros. count at all towards the minimum. They're I'm not a bonus team. I'm not taking the Astros. Yeah. No They're cheaters. a bonus team. My like team, that. no cheaters allowed. All right. Settle Mark down. Mark. The 2009 Astros are cheating. Our <laughs> Mark, Speaking of 2009, I'm going to take the 2008 Aramis Ramirez season on whatever team he was and hope it was a lot of RBIs. RBIs. He has like a 130 season somewhere. Is it that one? So he doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> well, <Jerk. laughs> what a jerk! <laughs> His career high. So no. <laughs> His career high is 119. In 2008, he had 111. That's good. Right. Okay. He okay. was a Cub, by the way. You love okay, that. sweet. That's your favorite. That's my number. Joey Votto, 2010. Ooh, thinking about him. I don't know that he drove in runs though. 2010 is Joey Votto's career high for RBIs. He had 113. Very good. Yeah. 30. Very good. I thought he was going to say 32. It's I like the me. way he delivers words. Whoa. <laughs> um, okay, I got a couple Astros. So I can't take a first baseman. So, But I do have a couple outfielders that I can think of. Brian no, I'm Boba thinking Sedek. of, of course, Lance Berkman, mm. who is very, very good. Oh, I just thought of somebody else. I have you, a question. You haven't said a year. You're fine. Yeah. Did Chris Bryant play any outfield in 2016? I believe he did. Let's take a look. Ooh, I think you're going to be able to do it. Let's see. 2016, he played 107 games at third and 69 in the outfield. Yeah, yeah that's fine. 
With that, then, I will take a very fun name at third base instead. I think I have the year right, and I think it's 100. And you guys both have had a dud, so I feel kind of... Mind you, he's got this, though, so it's not... Yeah. Yeah. I would like to select Morgan Ensberg at third base... My fifth grade teacher's cousin. ...in 2005. That's the year I would have said. Nice. 2005, Morgan Ensberg... See, I think it's like a crazy year. Heard of him? Would never have had him. On I this wouldn't list. have picked him either. Would not have. Would I had no idea. All star in two thousand five, fourth in MVP voting. That's what I remember. Yeah, he was like crap. Silver Slugger, hundred and one RBI for the culture. That was for the culture. Yeah, that was for the that's culture. Good. That's phenomenal, that Jolly. We love it. And the hundred stays alive. That's yeah. for the non ball knowing allegation. Just fucking. Yeah. I'm not gonna win, but I have more. <laughs> You're winning. On my team. Yeah, but I'm not going to. Win. Okay, I'm, uh, I'm always winning. <laughs> I, re- I know I say this all the time. I really don't know the year this time. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm Something just going to say the name. <laughs> <laughs> Jason Kendall was a pirate at some point. And I know that he had some good years. Isn't that the guy from Big Time Rush? I don't know what that is. It's a band. It had a Disney Channel show. I mean you don't know what that is. I know what it is. Jason Kendall, 2004. He was Hits guy. 2004. Yeah, Jason Kendall was still Oakland. with the Pittsburgh Pirates. <gasps> he and got to Oakland next year. He batted 319 over 147 games, but he only had 51 RBIs. He hit 319 with yeah. a 50. Oh, yeah. And he played 147 bad. games. Too. Wasn't he like a leadoff catcher? Speaking of Pirates, yo, ho, yo, ho, Pedro Alvarez 2013. I thought about him. Nice. He hit homers. He's so confident. He hit homers. I, don't, I really don't think you're as far behind. Did he get hits with I, men on base, though? I just tried the rhyme uh, with the song, A Pirate's Life for May 13. Oh, no. I'll oh. eat it. Pedro Alvarez 2013 was his career high. He broke into triple digits for the only time. 101. 100 on the dot. Oh, okay. <laughs> Good pick. Good pick. Um, He was a uh, third baseman. Yeah. All right. I think I'm going to address my. Uh, my catcher position. I'm going to go with Wilson Contreras because he's been in this division forever. Um, yeah, that's now, was this, the this was overthinking on my part. Now, the question is what You're year. Out. I just don't remember if he was on the World Series team or not. So I'm going to say, uh, well, let's think. He signed in 2023 to the Cardinals. So that means okay. two, one, oh, nine, okay. eight, seven. So no, he couldn't have been there in 2000, uh, 2016, I don't think. Let's go safer. <laughs> I am going to say Wilson Contreras 2019 and hope he wasn't hurt. Very famously was on the World Series team. He, yeah, he, he did come up halfway through the year, though, that year. He yeah. played 76 games. So good very, call. Not very, going with that. Very famous. They like <laughs> David Ross. That was the whole thing. Him and Ross. 2019, he had 64 RBIs. Oh, it's a Jason Kendall. It's his third most. 70, I think 74 year. was his oh, career sure. high. Oh. So. I'm going to go with 2010 Ricky Weeks. <laughs> 2010. You love Diamondbacks Ricky. legend. Shit, yeah. wait. That's actually a great. It your your be, middle infield is kind of nice. He might have been bad. I don't know. Was 09 the better year? 2010 Ricky Weeks is the answer. Oh, wow. He had 83 no RBIs. No way. That. That's so dumb. In Huge. 2009, he had 24. I have a catcher, though. You got to... Who stop. could you possibly be thinking of? <laughs> Dalton helped me. I will take the better yeah. Contreras brother. Sorry, Cardinals fans and Cubs fans, but he is. I will take William Contreras last year for the Brewers. Yeah. 2023, William Contreras had 78 RBI. That's fine. Yeah. It's good for a catcher. Can I be honest? There's a That's not who I thought you were going to say. I also... Yeah. I thought yeah. I thought Yachty and but Yachty first, like didn't really have RBI. I, th- years kind of I thought you were going Giovanni Soto. Oh, oh, oh no, that was a great pick. Rookie uh, of the year. That's the number one catcher. Is it like nine something? Yeah. Oh wait. Fuck! Rookie I knew the year, year too because yeah. yeah. rookie, rookie of the year. year. Yeah, exactly. Uh-huh. We I, all knew I, the year. I just didn't think. I was expecting a Giovanni Soto pick. Fuck! Damn it! That sucks. That would have been a sick pull. Um, my pirate will be Jason Bay. I thought about him too. I just don't know the year. I know when he's the rookie of the year, um, but I think I've done that before, and it's not the best year. But he's pretty consistently good from 06 to 08. In 09, he gets traded to the Red Sox, and then in 2010, he signs with the Mets. So I'm going to stay away from those years. Sure. Unless I'm one year off or something. Mm. Am I one year off? I would take Jason Bay in 2008. I think he's in Boston. Is he? 2008 is the year he gets traded 
to Why was Boston. I so? Was he rookie of the year in 04? He was rookie of the year in 04. And 06 is the good year. 06, he had 109 RBIs. 08, he did have 101, but they were split between the two teams. He only had 64 in Pittsburgh. Before I can he survive got traded. that. I can it's survive not terrible. That. I got Adam Dunn at 74, so it's not. It's tough that it's outfield, though. Yeah. I have to slam dunk this. I have a Cardinal, and I know there's a good year. I just, I'm between two years on it. <sighs> um, and that. it's recent. It's recent. Was Tyler O'Neill good in 2021 or 2022? Like, I know the And I think it's 2021 <laughs> because I was at my sister's wedding when he tortured the Padres, which was September of 2021. Was he good in 22? No, because they had Goldschmidt and Arenado in 2022. 2021, Tyler O'Neill. He's right. Tyler O'Neill in 2021 had 80 RBIs. That <laughs> is his career high. <laughs> He was like MVP candidate. Yeah, eighth, yeah he was really good. Place. He stole 15 bags. He had 34 homers. He had a 80? 9-12 OPS. I think, he was, I think he was leading off. That helps the Jason Bay pick a ton. I'm going to go recency merchant. I'm going to go Willie oh. Adamas last year. Yeah, that's a good one. I thought about him. Ah, fuck. Take a look, see. I think I would have gotten 22. 22, he had okay. the third best of all of the shortstops. Sure. Shit a moly. Sure. With 98. Whoa. Had, give me 80 something, Lucas. And Why not? 2023. 72. Give me 80 on the dot. Thank right. you. All right. Shout out okay. Tyler O'Neill. Okay. 80 still nice. Uh, for shortstop, I'll take it. That's nice. Um, I need a red still. I need a hero. Give me Jay Bruce. Jay Bruce. Um, it's a good pick. Consistent. Let's pick a year, any year. Please be a good one. Give me, I don't know, 2011. Jay Bruce. Feels good. Yeah, early 2010s is nice. good. Nice. Nice. 2011 Jay Bruce had 97 RBIs. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Well, dance. Career high is 109, but since they're kind of shooting like random years, you'll take that. What was his best year? What, you know, what year? 2013. So oh, he, he sure. went 97, 99, 109, and then fell off. Okay. So he'd be playing, playing with right fire on. there a little I bit. I have the names from MVP the field. I hope it can lead me to victory. I'm going to take an MVP. I'm going to go 2022 Paul Goldschmidt. Triple Correct. digits. Got to be. It is. He won MVP. One fifteen. We've known when you pick an MVP, they have a good year with RBIs. 115. <laughs> uh, 120. 2022 Paul Goldschmidt 20. had 115 RBIs. That's what I said. Let's go. There's tape of it. Let's rock out with that same year of 2010, and let's take that dude BP at second base. Mm-hmm. 2010, that dude, Brandon Phillips, was definitely at the top of the order. He only had 59 RBIs. Good. His career high was 103 in 2013. What? They dropped him down the order. Bad at four. He hit fourth. Yeah. yeah. Behind fourth. Votto. Yeah. yeah. He, and he, Bruce. That is the, the second best second base season, that 103. Yeah. Wow. I didn't even know that. That hurts. I, I wouldn't have guessed 13, though. I would have guessed, like, earlier, like, 11. I wouldn't have guessed that yeah. many. I knew it was a hundred. I didn't yeah. know it was 100. I was guessing, like, 80. I was playing shortstop in the 2010s for the Cubs. Oh. Oh. Mm. I think he was playing shortstop, not second base yet. So okay. I'll, let's try and go for Starlin Castro. You got hits. Dude, I don't know the year, though. Uh, give me Starlin Castro in 2012. You got a lot of hits. 2012, Starlin Castro was his career high with Please. RBIs. Number is 78. Okay. That's not terrible. I think There's, Johnny Peralta so could have been good. So the one thing I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you, because this guy played just played shortstop. There's another shortstop in between Javi Baez yeah. and Starlin Castro. I had a, oh, I, I could be wrong. Addison Russell. Yeah, Addison Russell had a 95 2015? 2015. as shortstop. I don't want, the, I don't want okay. those vibes 20, on my team. What well, was 15? I, I don't want yeah. those vibes on my team. I just want to know because I did think of him for 2015 50. was 54. Okay. 2016 was 95. And that was <sighs> that's it. MVP. You Addison know what? Russell yeah. got MVP. Started I didn't know if it was a World Series my, year or not. My only yeah. regret is that I dropped 40 RBIs. I'm Jason Bay. Okay, so I'm going to name guys because they're not second baseman. Derek and Carlos Lee both had good seasons. Jeff Bagwell had good years for sure. I just don't know which one because that's kind of before my time. Beltron, another guy Beltron. on the Cardinals and the Astros had good years. 2008, Derek Lee. And you said 2008, Derek Lee? Let's see. Because I know the Cubs were good Tra- that year. Traded, 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 hurt. Oh, he was good hurt, that year. Traded, traded, hurt, traded, traded, hurt, traded, traded, hurt, traded, hurt. Not traded, yeah. played 155 games, yeah. had 90 RBIs. Right. Oh, Alan Craig would have been better. He lost. That's the game. <laughs> and he spells it like R-R-E-C-K? Or yeah, yeah, yeah. R-R-E-K. Uh, I'll make it quick. I think India was Rookie of the Year in 2021. Yeah. I'll That's go, what I should have done. I'll Good go. Pick. Do I do 2022? No. We'll do 2021 Jonathan India. Yeah, I think that's his best year. I would probably agree with that. I think Let's he declined see. those three years, but we'll go 2021 Jonathan India. 
2021 Jonathan India is his career high in RBIs. He had 69. Thanks. Nice. nice. And that's nice. how you finish off a draft. Nice. Nice. So, in third place with 809 RBIs, 66 off of the lead. It's not bad. We have Dalton Feely. Nice. Not last. Let's go. No. Second place <laughs> with 829 RBIs, 46 of, off the lead. We have Jolly Olive. One Jason Bay correct year off the lead, I think. And in first place for his second win of the day, we have Ryan Cohen with 875 RBIs. Bang, 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 bang. Thank you for watching. Uh, if we missed a name that you thought of and we missed a lot leave a comment down below congrats to ryan he wins again um i hope that you have a fantastic rest of your day today that's nice i hope you have an okay day i hope you have a good night and if you had dinner with this video i hope it was a good dinner also like eat a cookie or ice cream just like enjoy dessert tonight <laughs>